I'm Lenora Critchlow and you're watching The Big Picture. You need new spikes. I'm broke. Good luck today, darling. Two rival athletes from different backgrounds must put their differences aside if they hope to make it through to the World Athletic Championship in Fast Girls. She's joining us then, Tommy. Yeah, we'll see. BAFTA winner Noel Clark co-wrote the screenplay and stars as coach Tommy Southern. How do you think you'd handle the relay? I'm not very good with teams. Come and meet the girls. If we're going to beat the USA, I need silk, ladies. Give me silk. He was joined on the red carpet by cast and filmmakers, and we were there to find out more. So young people need to be need to be inspired and they need to be they need to be able to aspire to something. And the thing about this film is you can take the athletics out of it and it's about people aspiring to be better and do better and no matter where they're from, just try and, and be the best we can. And that's what these athletes do day in and day out. So I think it's a good film for anyone to just watch and be, you know, inspired by. Well, Damien Jones, the producer, called me pretty much a year ago to the day and uh, he'd seen a short film that I did, which ironically enough was an all Iraqi war drama that I shot in the Middle East. And uh, he said, you know, I've got a film that I want to talk to you about. So uh, here we are a year later on the red carpet with it in the cinema. It's very exciting. By setting it in a sort of fictional world championships, we, I hope, it's sort of timeless. You know, if this film succeeds as we want, it's going to be seen time and time again. I I'm, I'm love the idea that it's a good, great way to kick off 2012. The world championships are here in London. When we're up against the USA, I'm going to need you. Playing the athletes are some of Britain's most talented young stars, including Being Human's Lenora Critchlow. Oh, she kind of leaped off the page to me and sort of said, try this, and it was, uh, I knew it would be a challenge. Um, but I, I just loved the idea of, of telling a very age-old story of the underdog kind of coming through and there's no I in team and kind of pulling together. But I haven't seen it told in quite this way before, so that really attracted me to it. And having a cast of such strong female leads on screen and playing the heroes of the piece, um, I think is always a positive starting point. I love the idea of doing a film that had loads of strong female roles in it because that's hard to come by these days, I think. The role of Trix, I just thought that she's so strong, she's so dedicated, she's passionate and I love athletics myself so it was being able to do the thing I love which is acting with something that I used to do, athletics, that I never thought I was going to be able to do again. I love the sort of struggle that Lisa, that my character goes through, you know, she's she's so talented and strong but the pressure that she gets from her father and the pressure she puts on herself, she doesn't use productively, she lets it choke her and makes her cold and uptight and her defence mechanism is to be kind of mean and not to let people in and, and as an actress that's something that you deal with you know with pressure and so try, finding that element in myself too was really really drew me to the role. Coaching Shania in the movie is local shopkeeper Brian played by BAFTA nominee Phil Davis. I'm the squad. Bloody right you are. Can I scream now? Yeah go. <laughs> the, the idea of playing a, a, a trainer um, you know I'm not in the as you can see I'm not as uh, slim and young as I don't look so good in lycra but um but no, I like the relationship between, uh, between my character Brian and Lenora's character because, um, you know, obviously he has to let her go. Once she gets into Team GB, she's off into a different kind of realm, really. The cast had to do extensive training to get into shape for the film. It was hard, really hard. We did about six weeks of training um, prior to filming and then another few weeks on that, so about ten weeks in total. And um, When we weren't on the camera, we were in the back doing sit-ups or whatever we needed to do, but the training was hardcore. We'd done proper Olympic training and we were training with some of the GB team. From pushing weights to over 500 sit-ups, I've never pushed a weight in my life. Like I have small arms. So when Shani saw me, Shani Anderson was our trainer, she was like, we need to work on your top half, you are weedy, and I was like, okay. So why will audiences enjoy Fast Girls? Let's bring it home, girls, and we can do this. Let the games begin. You know, there are all different kinds of movies, and, and this, this really is a very positive, a very positive film. You know, people um, are overcoming their demons and, uh, and uh, reaching the very, very best that they can be. You've got what it takes. You just got to start playing the game. I think it's incredibly important to have an identity. And, um, you know, when you're talking about women in sport in particular, we have so many successful women that don't really get the profile or the recognition for that success. And if you don't give that profile, you then can't inspire younger people to have that vision and determination. And I think, you know, it's just a lovely, feel-good film. I did actually have a speech prepared, which you've all now ruined. <laughs> I had written my cards and everything. <laughs> 
Look good and run fast, girl. Not bad. Fast Girls sprints into UK cinemas on June 15th. <laughs>